Hello and welcome to the special subscriber episode for Feed the Beast. This is um, basically me showing you guys uh, behind the, not the scenes, behind the mind, behind <laughs> what I think. Um, okay, this is of course, as you know, my um, my world, the world that I play in, the world that got destroyed building terrain a little bit slower because it was destroyed there you go so as you can see this was feed the beast <laughs> okay let's get um, in the test world first of all which one which one I think this one yeah this one um, this is basically a clone of feed the beast uh, it is um, a map that I tried my ideas on uh, so basically and here of course I went into the beast and saw what uh, how it worked oh sorry creative thank you uh, this is for example the way the MFE worked when uh, it was full it uh, permitted energy to flow through this uh, detector and here there is a latch that uh, basically flashed the pink um, the pink light over there okay so that's what uh, what the uh, the flashing was as you can see <laughs> i pretty much destroyed it so i can get a better look inside now here is the first ideas of pumping pumpkin farming I had so there was basically a vanilla part and an industrial craft part and as you can see the industrial craft uh, farm when it gets a lot of weeds in it they eventually transform into tall grass okay this is where I first tested my um, what you call it my matter my wood to to, uh, fuel design so you saw this in my pardon me uh, in my world this is how I, uh, I initially thought of it uh, this of course is um, something I worked on to test uh, how much distance do I need between the lasers and uh, the assembly table and apparently it works just as you saw in my uh, in my reel <laughs> feed the beast so because one of you commented that um, they need to be really really close so actually even those guys over there are working do I have enough fuel in here so as you can see even at that height there the lasers still go into the assembly table okay uh, this was of course the original design with the block breaker and the um, repeater over here so nothing nothing too complicated and now we get the, the, the la pièce de résistance if you will it um, when I did the mob spawner I thought uh, maybe I could get some more EMC oh let me just put it in uh, for now in uh, peaceful so we don't get all the noise uh, so I thought uh, I'll get more EMC if I kill a lot of Endermen but uh, the amount of uh, materials necessary to, to build such a mob trap uh, wa and the effort was humongous and for and also the Endermen don't spawn as much as um, the other mobs so it was very very impractical to build on the real map so I didn't but uh, this is uh, this is basically the design let me get uh, you guys inside of there for now uh, can I do this okay gently gently I hate creative flying Okay, so let's put some torches in here. As you can see, 
I have put some half slabs in here because what's with the music the music is off but whatever uh, the half slabs prevent spiders from spawning because this trap uses pistons instead of water to push mobs into the middle so let's say I'm a skeleton and as you can see I am pushed into the middle but uh, spiders are one block high so they tend to get stuck right in there this design is of course uh, <sighs> not started it was uh, mainly highlighted by Doc M 77 so basically we have four sides with pistons and uh, let's put it on normal and let's get down there okay and if we wait a little bit, while we wait, let me get some spawner eggs. Uh, spawner eggs. And Enderman, okay, I want some Enderman, thank you. Back into creative. Uh, now, let's see about this. We, I don't really want to plug up that hole, but if you watch carefully you'll see that uh, one now and again the the torches start to light up and mobs start to drop and let's just give them a little bit of time come on maybe we'll get lucky and I don't even have to put an enderman egg in there but we'll see and of course for the camera they are being very shy <laughs> Come on! Okay, let's go down just a little bit uh, to let them spawn and we'll see them. Oh, there you hit. So, as you can see, they drop in here and um, those transposers are on a timer. And we have four transposers on each corner. And they. Um, everything gets in here. Okay. Uh, why is this so special besides the fact that we use pistons up there it's this contraption over here this uh, system this red power system uh, this system basically allows for endermen do not die if they hit the ground so I had to build some kind of system that kills endermen once they are down here so I took advantage of the fact that um, a live, an, uh, an enderman that is alive is actually three blocks high. Okay, so everything that uh, is in uh, that drops in here and dies, uh, this spawns in basically one second. But the enderman stays on these steps at least five seconds. So we have a timer here set for five seconds and if these pressure plates whoa 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 that's the the, the hard part with uh, the red power and the transposers you can fall through the floor <laughs> so if these pressure plates are activated for more than five seconds uh, the whole system activates and basically suffocates the enderman and because no endermen are falling right now we are going to have to spawn them okay and let's do one guy for now and you'll see here he is alive and because he stands on that pressure plate for more than five seconds the system activates with uh, four pistons and uh, what the hell happened here? Oh, a glitch. <laughs> Probably from Optifine, so don't worry. Okay, the system just activated because five mobs dropped in a row and the, those pressure plates went uh, crazy. So let's do another Enderman. And you'll see how we deal with them. 
this is why I like Minecraft, okay? This is uh, putting my mind to work to come up with some crazy concepts like this. This one, of course, takes a little bit more time to die because he didn't fell from... Uh, he didn't uh, fell... Fell? He didn't fall. He didn't fall. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> he didn't fall from a great height, so yeah. So, okay. This is enough for this uh, this little map. Let's go to another map. The, my test world, my flat world. And I just want to show you here two basic systems. Basic. I'm kidding. Two <laughs> two insights into how my mind works, okay? I think you're going to like this. Let's go into peaceful because we don't want any particular mobs. Whoa and also can we go into creative thank you okay uh, this of course you can recognize is the system that makes uh, chipsets this uh, is was my prototype as you can see my uh, water pump with uh, the design I like for engines and this switch that powers all four engines at the same time so nothing new in, the, in there and of course uh, these fermenters were initially powered with water okay uh, next mm, pardon me we have this guy over here we'll get to that later <laughs> or actually you know what let's get to this guy now this is why what I wanted to use to to power my EU generator my EU production line from industrial craft okay I wanted to use geothermal generators and put lava in them through waterproofing pipes and but the thing was that I would have made lava with a condenser from uh, equivalent exchange okay so I needed to, uh, that lava to be transferred into pipes and the only form I found was of course through a pump okay so how do I get from uh, the lava buckets from a condenser to a pump <laughs> and because uh, I don't know maybe most of you have uh, seen Diewolf's uh, design where he uh, put down a single uh, block of lava uh, and it was getting pretty annoying I decided okay let's put nine blocks of lava at the same time and we'll have the pump uh, do the work for us okay this is a, bu a buffer tank so nothing too complicated so the, uh, the system is basically like this uh, this sorter gets the lava buckets from here into three different uh, other sorters okay and those sorters get each, buck uh, each uh, lava bucket and put them into three deployers, th three the separate deployers. Okay, so let's see how this works. And let's power this baby up. first bucket, the second bucket, the third bucket and also I want to, I wanted to activate everything in this system only once when every single uh, deployer was filled and here comes into place industrial craft because I made the system in such a way that uh, once we have a lava bucket in all of these guys in in the back okay these gates detect the water bucket the lava buckets and this timer here uh, with those gates basically activate everything in the system okay so now we have nine uh, buckets of lava in there okay and the retriever of course empties everything from the system and everything repeats itself so <laughs>
this is what I thought of making you for from <laughs> uh, welcome to my world people <laughs> yes I know I know um, at first um, I thought of making the system only with logistic pipes uh, but I encountered the problem because um, if I put uh, uh, lava buckets in here with uh, what you more supplier or uh, deployer I always forgot to sub supplier pipes anyway doesn't matter uh, I have no way of getting them out of there uh, I tried with a, sh a chassis actually these one are chassis as you can see uh, no not with that with a wrench okay so we have an item sink that I thought okay with well, the item sink will put the lava bucket and then we have an extractor okay uh, an extractor or a quick sort a quick sort wouldn't work because it would see the lava buckets in every other um, uh, um, deployer in here Okay, but also the extractor module basically just pulls out the lava bucket and puts it back in because it sees the nearest item sink which is the same one it is so that doesn't work I've tried it if you have a better idea you are welcome to, to tell me about it um, I think this is about it <laughs> um, yeah I know this year this was an experiment because um, one of the guys I'm watching and uh, that does the same map as I am uh, he's called Funshine X I encountered the problem with uh, a deployer and I was like what this can't be happening so I tried uh, and apparently he is right so if you are using a deployer uh, with a wrench in it uh, because I want the deployer to apply the wrench on this steam engine and turn it but it doesn't work okay so as you can see the deployer activates but it does not right click the, the Billcraft wrench on the engine so that's a bummer yeah um, this is about it people I want to thank all of you for all the support I want to thank all the new subscribers I am a small youtuber I know that I but I'm trying <laughs> um, I want you to, I want to encourage you as usual to interact as much as possible I want to, to see from you every crazy idea on the map I read every single comment I don't have a lot of comments <laughs> that's why I read them I know even the silly ones um, I try to interact as much as possible in my turns so for every comment that I can I, I reply um, even though I have nothing to reply to some of the comments I still try to reply um, uh, I, I, I don't know I'm so <laughs> flabbergasted right now <laughs> anyway no more talking um, I hope you have an awesome weekend and I'll see you as uh, soon as possible I will be trying to finish my um, my let's play be because before I started this uh, feed the beast I was doing a let's play with of course with a lot of mods and when feed the beast came along I just uh, started working on that and uh, neglected my other map so I will be trying to finish that map and uh, go to the end um, so until then please rate comment and subscribe and as usual don't forget to be awesome guys ciao <laughs>